Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Darth Vader, issue number 10. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to call this issue, I'm going to call this comic book, the best comic book that you're not reading. <laughs> All right? Uh, if you are reading it, you're in a very elite club as far as I'm concerned. Welcome. Welcome, brother. But this is just such a fantastic, like, Charles Soule is just, oh my God. I don't know where he gets all this stuff. Like, this isn't lawyerly stuff, you know, saying that he's writing, but it, it's political. So I guess that absolutely counts. So Jocasta New dies in this issue. Spoilers. Um, why, are you, why are you listening to a review of a comic book you haven't read yet, if that's the case? Anyway, so, like, I'm, I'm actually, like, I'm not bothered by this. I'm, I'm actually, like, surprised at how good this issue was. She dies in some of the, one of the most noble ways you could possibly imagine. She dies, yes, with dignity, a lot of dignity. She dies saving all these future Jedi, you know, saying these, these children. And she actually finds a way to convince evil Darth Vader, yes, evil Darth Vader, to not give these names over to the Emperor. All right. She doesn't do it by saying, you know, oh, if you go and you kill, he's got no problem killing these younglings. In fact, he might, he might have very well gone and killed these younglings. You know what I'm saying? He's done it before for crying out loud. But the trick is, she points out, these are all, you know, younglings that he plans to replace you with. She knows. She knows the way that, I mean, like, the Sith haven't been seen in forever. So your average Jedi has no idea what the, what the Sith were, were all about back then, back during the time of the Old Republic, right? But instead, she will know because she's read the books. She's seen, you saw, she's got uh, Sith holocrons as well as Jedi holocrons. She's got all this information. And she was able to take this and she was able to say, you know what? I know what I can do, hopefully, that will make this knucklehead not turn over these names and allow her to die so that she doesn't have to be tortured for the information that she's hopefully not going to ever turn over. This was an amazing issue. Charles Soule, what he just did was he just inaugurated Jocasta New in the Hall of Fame. She was a horrible character who you got to see a very little bit of with, you know, this indignant little air about her. Mm. Well, if it's not in the, the Jedi, you know, temple, then it doesn't actually exist. And then, you know, walks off. That was in the second um, prequel. Like, she was a horrible character there. I, I hated her, you know, for the second that we saw her. Here, ah, I wish she had her own storyline. Like that, and you know what? We didn't actually see her actual death, so maybe she's really dead. Maybe we can actually get a storyline with her where she, you know, she was allowed to escape, whatever, and go and get these children out of there, you know, whatever. Just oh my god, this was amazing. This is, like I said, the best comic book that you're not reading. Oh my god, this this was great. This was great. <laughs> whatever, a plus, a plus through and through. That's it. I'm done. All right, guys. Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.